Good afternoon. First of all, I must apologize myself for my English. Second, because I'm an architect. And third, <laughs> because I'm a little bit hard of hearing. So if you have a question, please, you must speak slowly. All right? All right, what we're going to present uh, to, to show today is uh, a framework that we made between the Faculty of Architecture of Rome and a Department of Computer Science of Rome. As you know, we have in Rome a lot of uh, heritage, a lot of historical sites, and uh, we have a lot of problems on documentation, organizing documentation for people, scientific or, uh, um, documentation coming so from the science and going down to the popular. So what we developed is uh, a kind of framework on a specific site that this is the, the work we are going to show you today. It's the Forum of Nerva. It's a very little forum in the Imperial site, Imperial Forum site. And um, we developed a framework, as I, as I told you before, um, just to understand if we are able to make something better and to promote this uh, framework also for all the whole area. Um, we work with augmented reality. We have a panel over there from another university. I think so that most of you knows how augmented reality works. Uh, there are two kinds of augmented reality systems. We use the AR tag system. <coughs> so, um, Better if I, if I, I follow first my presentation and then we will see the, the, the framework working. So we made the, the AR, AR tag that is something like a postcard that could be on a panel or just under on the hand. And uh, on this card you will see a 3D model of the whole area and especially of the part that is <coughs> of our interest. We call it the, we call this framework never. We will have also a little video that promotes um, our software. And uh, the technology, as I told you before, is an AR tag. Well, I'm going just fast on showing this slide because I think so it would be most interesting for you to see the framework working. Okay. Nerva is the new way to enjoy the Forum of Rome. Take your phone and the card, turn it and scan the QR code to download the app. Point the camera and you will be able to navigate the 3D reconstruction of the Forum. Select the sheet you need, visualize the information, and keep it always with you on your journey. Find your GPS location, explore the nearby pins, and search for more. All right, this was <clears throat> this was the presentation of the work. Now let's see how the framework works. Right, first of all, we have a little tutorial with three points that explains 
how the tutorial works, uh, sorry, how the framework works? Well, um, first of all, why we decided to work with a postcard? Because in, in Rome we have a very strange, strange thing around the Imperial Forum. We don't really don't know who is the owner of the panels, of the information panel around that area. And this is very strange because there are a lot of laws and laws are in contrast one to the other. So what we decided first is let's try to find a way that it's without the panel and then we decided to use a postcard, something like a postcard that could be used, take it with you and could be also in a guide or something like that. This is the reason that for why we collect the cards, because it's, we use a card only for the Forum of Nerva, but we suppose that we can have more cards for also for the other Forum. And another way to, uh, to, to use the framework is also to use the, the directory from Google Maps or Apple Maps, it depends what kind of device you are going to use. Okay, um, this is one, the first is my image, but first I need to show you another thing that it's I suppose that all of you all of you know how the Imperial Forum of Rome are organized. Uh, this is a little map, a view from the satellite. And this view is an important view because you see that Via de Fori Imperiali, that is the main street on the area, cuts our area from one part to the other. And uh, this, is made, this image is very important because the Forum of, ne of Nerva, that is the one in the middle, this one, it's just cut out from the side, human side, by the road. So the first thing is to make people understand how is organized the forum and how it is related to the other sites, archaeological sites of the sea. This is the reason why in, uh, in the first image that it's the actual image, the image you, we have today with the ruins and the road, we show that the, the forum is cut in two sides, north side and south side. Um, what is it, what, what is, it the, is the innovation of our framework? As you can see, it works with an iPad or it can work with uh, smartphone and you know that this kind of technology till today was used on computers so um, we needed to make a kind of framework with low poly and a lot of information that are coming directly by the in by internet so we have a, a, a site a website from where we collect the information and we give the information directly on the Android device. <coughs> Sorry, it's very difficult to handle. Okay, and uh, this is this. Just a moment. This is the situation today, and this is the reconstruction during the imperial period. Um, we stop it here, but you know that we have a lot of certification in Rome, so we can also make a, another layer on medieval period or another layer layer also on baroque period. Uh, we stop it here because it's um, it's the first framework we do in this way, and we just want to know if it works, and then 
maybe in the future where we'll also develop the other periods that are very interesting because you know in the same part of the city we have a lot of information to show. The second part of our frameworks works like with sheets and uh, that are coming directly from the website. Each sheet has a little explanation about the site you're seeing. On the part below, we have a lot of, of iconography that shows the site during the ages with reconstructions. <coughs> this is Roman period, this is a medieval period of the same site. And of each seat on the north, uh, sorry, on the upper part, we have also 2D reconstruction model. Um, this is how it looks today. And uh, as I told you before, our problem is to, um, to find out the right dimension of the 3D model. And we have also the visualization of the same part in, in the ancient time. These sheets have been made for all the form of the area. So we have the form of Peace, Basilica Emilia, the form of Nerva, form of Caesar. Forum of Augustus and the Temple of <coughs> Antoni Antoninus and Faustine. We can reach the same sheets also directly from the map. We have some pins on, and each pin links us directly to the to the sheet. We are now working also on another site, trying to use another kind of augmented reality that is very close to Liar or Wikitude that I suppose all of you know. And we are developing a framework for excuse me. framework for um, an area that is in the south part of Rome. Uh, we have a lot of important churches in the way of, of San Benedetto, San Benedictus. And um, in this case we are using a different kind of augmented reality. Um, we have a, li a little video, it's in Italian, I don't know if you are interested on to hear also the part in Italian. Let's try, it's better maybe, because it sounds better.
that XCR can show you the new framework. Thank you.